The nation is gearing up to celebrate the 69th Republic Day on Friday. For the first time, the heads of state and government of 10 ASEAN nations will be the chief guests at the Republic Day celebrations. Heads of state from Thailand, Vietnam, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, Myanmar, Cambodia, Laos and Brunei will grace the occasion as chief guests. Five months after courting controversy by hoisting the national flag on Independence Day at an aided higher secondary school, RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat is set to unfurl the national flag at a private school in Palakkad on the occasion of Republic Day. Bhagwat will hoist the flag at Vyas Vidya Pitham, operated by Bharatiya Vidya Niketan, a pro Sangh Parivar organization at Kalikad. A protest march titled Save the Constitution will be held in the Oval Maidan in Mumbai on the Republic Day. NCP Chief Sharad Pawar is leading the protest march and leaders from the Congress and the TMC will be attending the march among others. As the opposition gears up to hold a massive Save the Constitution march in Mumbai on the Republic Day, the BJP, led by the Maharashtra Chief Minister Devendra Farnavis, will hold a rally at Shivaji Park from 2 p.m. Advocate Vibhor Anand, who is the petitioner in the case seeking disqualification of the 21 AAP MLAs for holding office of profit, has decided to withdraw his case against AAP MLAs. A letter to EC and the President of India informing the same has been sent by Vibhor, alleging that Delhi Police did not give him protection despite his repeated complaints of being intimidated and attacked by Aam Aadmi Party supporters. Addressing the nation on the eve of India's 69th Republic Day, President Ram Nath Kovind called for a civic-minded society where one can disagree with views even which had a historical context without mocking the other person's dignity. In his first Republic Day eve address to the nation, the President also appealed for maintaining institutional integrity and eliminating poverty from the country. <laughs> किसी के नजरिए से या इतिहास की किसी घटना के बारे में भी हम असहमत हो सकते हैं ऐसे उदारतापूर्ण व्यवहार को ही भाईचारा कहते हैं प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी ऑन थर्सडे वेलकम द आसियान लीडर्स टू द आसियान इंडिया कमेमोरेटिव समिट एंड सेड दैट इंडिया वाज कमिटेड टू वर्क विद द आसियान नेशंस टू एनहांस कोलैबोरेशन इन द मैरिटाइम डोमेन थैंकिंग द लीडर्स फॉर देयर प्रेजेंस मोदी सेड एंड आई कोट their collective presence in India has touched hearts of my 1.25 billion fellow Indians. It is a privilege for India to host all the ASEAN leaders for the second time in five years. Tomorrow, you will be our honored guest at our Republic Day celebrations. The presence of my brothers and sisters from all over ASEAN partners at this joyous celebration is unprecedented. Congress yes, President Senate Rahul Gandhi on Thursday wrote a letter to the nation in order to remind the country of the commitments that were made in the constitution. In his letter, Gandhi reminded citizens of the ideals of justice, liberty, equality and fraternity and the need to defend them.